So chemistry is often considered to be the central science because it touches so many aspects of our lives. Um, it's a very extensive subject and um, a, a short definition is hard to come by. But in a nutshell, chemistry is the investigation and the analysis of the structure and reactivity of chemicals and compounds and of the elements. So physics is a, a fascinating and challenging discipline that stretches the limits of uh, our knowledge of the world. Every time you use a device, you boil a kettle, you drive a car, you use your cell phone, you take an elevator, ask yourself, how does it work? Who invented it? And it's a safe bet uh, that physics is involved at some stage. The School of Chemistry and Physics has made tremendous strides in the last number of years in climbing up the ranks in terms of national research output. The school is currently ranked number one nationally in both chemistry and physics based on Thomson Reuters data. The school is based on both Westville and Peter Maritzburg campuses where there are over 50 research active staff. The school also boasts one NRF A rated scientist five NRFB rated scientists, many of them under the age of 40, and a significant number of C rated scientists. The school also hosts two NRF South African Research Initiative chairs, one in chemistry and one in physics. The basic requirements to enter into the master's degree in chemistry is an honors degree, and that is comprised of a three-year bachelor's degree plus a one-year honors degree. The school has over 240 registered masters and PhD students at any given time and what we found amongst the doctoral cohort is that um, many of them are from foreign countries within the African continent, especially from Zimbabwe, Kenya and Nigeria. The school has also improved its throughput in recent times and a master's student can expect to graduate within two years and a doctoral candidate within four years after enrollment. So in physics we have versatile uh, theoretical and experimental focus areas. From quantum physics, quantum optics, nanotechnology, condensed metaphysics, plasma physics, computational physics, regenerative energies, space physics, atmospheric physics, astrophysics and cosmology. So the experimental physics but also the theoretical physics uh, at the school is related to uh, labs, either internal labs, external labs or observatories. For example, astrophysics and cosmology is linked to the Square Kilometer Array, the largest system of radio telescopes on Earth, to observe electromagnetic signals from the early universe. Since the so-called SKA, which is worth $2 billion, produce this larger data streams than even the big particle accelerators at CERN in Switzerland, it requires the development of new and faster ways of data processing. Big data is a big subject in the School of Chemistry and Physics. There's a large variety of research topics for candidates to choose from amongst enthusiastic research staff members. The school deals with the four main branches of chemistry, which is organic and inorganic chemistry, and also analytical and physical chemistry. The main topics include traditional chemistry, such as inorganic and organometallic, and organic chemistry. There is also analytical chemistry, and finally physical chemistry, which often overlaps with other branches and projects. Within these broad areas, one has natural product synthesis, catalysis research, both homogeneous and heterogeneous, reaction kinetics and mechanisms, environmental research such as water purification strategies or the assessment of pollution. In the health area, topics range from medicinal chemistry, bioinorganic chemistry, sunscreen development, peptide chemistry. In fact, a large dedicated peptide laboratory has just been added to our infrastructure. In these cases, materials to prevent or cure cancer are sought. In addition to finding a cure for HIV AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria, many of these diseases have grown resistant to drugs so the challenges are formidable. 
So members of the school also work uh, with external labs, for example, an iron trap lab at Stellenbosch and the structured light laboratory at uh, University of Witwatersrand in Johannesburg. Of course, we have also many international collaborations. For example, uh, recently we founded an uh, institute for uh, computational astrophysics together with the Astronomical Society of China. And this collaboration gives us access to uh, the largest uh, telescope on Earth, 500 meters uh, diameter, it's called FAST in China, and to supercomputing facilities in China. The school also has a large contribution to make in trying to find sustainable energy solutions. Research in these areas include solar cell development, including the materials that make up solar cells, such as quantum dots, perovskites, graphene, etc. There's also a research focus on battery research and artificial photosynthesis. Hi, I'm Denisha Gounden and I am a PhD chemistry student at UKZN. Chemistry is a central science and can be used in so many different disciplines. Um, at a young age, I decided to take chemistry um, and use it as a vehicle to try and uh, impact positive change in the world. Uh, UKZN is an amazing place to actually uh, do your postgrad studies at. We have fantastic resources, facilities, instrumentation, and we have um, experienced staff and technicians. My PhD project um, entails the development of solar cells. So the energy demand, or the global energy demand, is ever increasing. And it is definitely a time for us to actually um, come up with alternative, renewable, sustainable, and definitely cleaner energy sources. So the sun is by far the most promising candidate. Um, it is abundant, inexhaustible, and the cleanest of all other renewable energies. Um, so by exploiting uh, photovoltaic technology, uh, I'll be using a, a tandem cell uh, in which I will modify some of the layers to try and improve um, the efficiency and the cost of production. My name is Ezekiel Itekbuyogan and Patrick, PhD student, condensed matter physics, University of KwaZulu Natal. My experience at UKZN, it's been, it's been worthwhile, is it coming for, as an international student basically. But my experience, it's been, it's been okay from the administration to the lab experiences to the social, you know, events. I think it's been worthwhile, the experience has been, it's been okay. My research at uh, the PhD level has to do with magnetic material. I'm studying the magnetic properties of material. And when I say magnetic properties, it's diverse, but now to be more specific, I'm studying the magnetocaloric properties of magnetic materials. What that means is trying to use magnetic materials for solid state refrigeration, using it for cooling, you know, as a cooling refrigerant. So basically that is the heart of my PhD research work. Chemists are still heavily employed in industry, academia and government sectors. There will always be a need for chemists to tell us how much iron there are in our cornflakes, how much aromatics in our red wine, and what kind of pollutants there are in our drinking water. One sees more and more projects that are multidisciplinary, meaning expertise from other role players are needed. This could be biologists, physicists, mathematicians, engineers, and so on. There is more of an entrepreneurial spirit currently in the air where graduates with a master's or doctoral degree ought to think along the lines of a startup company and to employ people rather than being the employee. At UKZN School of Chemistry and Physics, there is certainly a focus for students to think how they could make the world a better place. Physicists are as different as the jobs they do. Uh, if you like to think about nature and how nature works or how things in technology work, then you might be a good candidate for physics. They find jobs in many sectors, for example, in car industry, laser technology, electronics and information processing, photonics and communication, 
in image analysis or in the clothing industry. Some of them work in basic research at universities, national research labs, but also in industrial research labs. Others are employed in crossover fields as medical physicists, in radiation oncology or diagnostics, in biophysics, environmental sciences, or in econophysics, a crossover between economy and physics, to analyze trends at the stock market. So physicists uh, model and simulate processes, they predict outcomes. They design and build new machines. Even machines that can themselves design new machines by means of artificial intelligence. Physicists are trained to analyze problems and find solutions. In the School of Chemistry and Physics, we welcome candidates in the Master's or PhD program from all over the world. We're trying to make the world a better place through extensive research projects that we have to offer. And we are on the verge of making major breakthroughs in the fields of chemistry and physics on a variety of levels with collaboration from our partners across the world and we welcome one and all to our school.